Thirty nine months of special agent. Department of Justice. Because in, in, in all reality, in all reality, I had the suspicion that it was a setup. So I walked out there to actually find out. And, and, and sometimes my my suspicion is right. A lot of times is I can feel things that other people can't. I can also a lot of times see stuff that other people can't. And, you know, it, it comes with my places territory places yeah it's the um uh birth thing but yeah quite a few years ago my uh brother-in-law had, had you know had stuff going on Every time, every time I could feel it happen before it actually happened. A lot of times, even even in um, any time something bad happens, normally I know it's coming before anybody else does. And I already you knew your your people are gonna be there. It's straight out. You guys put it out there. I just had to find out for sure, and and then that that was the real reason I was there. Yeah, I fucking went went and did whatever I did, but you know, in the end, how I, I was probably gonna gonna end up fucking, you know, leaving all all that other shit that was in my pocket. But hey, I heard I heard your 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 people talking. So I, I knew they they surrounded me. I knew they were out there. Uh huh. Because one first off, one of one of them also went up to the door. One of them also went up to the door and opened it slightly, and then closed it. In all reality, they, it was her underwear or something like that. Jamie, I think. Anyways, no, I, I don't know for sure if they were her clothes or not, but no, no, I don't know her. All I do do know is from everything that I have read. And for for um for the simple fact is is quite a few years ago any 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 child comes up missing it pisses me off and it makes me want to go fucking hunt him, the person to find them in all reality. I don't know what I do because in all reality, you know, it is the same same concept as a fucking child molester. Although the one thing why I do got strong feelings for that is because of the simple fact is is about twenty years ago, may maybe less. But anyways, uh, I was about 20, 20 years old or something like that, or close to it. There was this case in Charles City, Iowa. The FBI got involved. The FBI found found him like, found her a year later. Dead. But they never never fucking 
they had a suspicion on who it was. But they couldn't prove it. They couldn't prove it that it, that it was actually him. And he ended up a walking because they couldn't actually prove it. Um, not to mention, I knew that family. Because we were, we were actually neighbors at one point in time. We were neighbors and I go over and visit them from time to time. Uh, it was, it was in the same house. Five. Yep. And then I read, like, like this, this week. I read this freaking thing on fucking um, Facebook because I get all the police reports, whatever, through my my phone. I sometimes I go I go beyond beyond the, even this county. Sometimes I get them from yeah all over. Well, those, but I'm also talking about something else too. Just just like just like when when this freaking guy ended up raping an eight-year-old. I ended up coming across that uh, on Facebook. That that just set me off. Go be on Facebook because in all reality I get uh, I normally end up getting all news from everywhere. I, I a lot of times is it's I'll even I'll even get stuff that people don't even know about. Yeah. But see, there there's see the other thing that I do is see while while you got you guys got got cops whatever you know see you guys can only go so far see I used to be a carny I said I used to be a carny which a lot of times a lot of carnies try and get a can get away with just about anything. It's just you know, you just gotta watch what you do, you know you know, basically the one thing they don't want on the show is fucking child molesters. And any type of sex offenders, you know, shit like that. You know, that that's one one thing they don't want on there. You know, they do the background searches and shit like that. At one point in time, years ago, and that was when I buried Colony, but ever since then, no. But, I swear to God, everybody, everybody treats me like one, though. <laughs> Cause, a couple of years ago, my step-niece, I, well, I was fucking looking all for her. You know, her dad fucking straight up fucking hit her. He's lucky that I didn't fucking deck him in the process afterwards. But it is what it is. So I went to the fucking police and never, ever, ever, ever since then, I was never able to fucking go anywhere around her. So. Yeah. She 
was 12 or 13 at the time. A couple of years ago. Because now it's just about 15, so yeah. Well, according to the fucking, I guess, cops and judge and everybody, I couldn't go nowhere near. I don't know why. I don't know what, what, um, what the whole thing was that my stepbrother-in-law said, too, because I, I got a feeling that had part to do with it. <laughs> No, I believe it was his fault because she didn't. She didn't, she never minded being being around, you know. Because on weekends, normally on uh, normally on the weekends, they would come to my house and we fucking go do whatever, you know. Her and her brother every. I ended up having her at my house once by herself, once or twice, something like that. I did. Well, we played puzzles, we did um, whatever, whatever, you know, as in puzzles, games, you know, I went on and fucking bought energy for them, you name it, you know. And otherwise than that, it was fucking, uh, inside the house, it was fucking movies, puzzles, games. You know? I think, I think in all reality, that's, I don't know exactly what his fucking feelings were, but eventually he fucking finally chilled out. Yeah, it was just my thing on fucking boundaries. I got a big thing on fucking boundaries. And at that point in time, you know, I heard something about him fucking having a fucking, um, having something with his fucking daughter fucking sexual, and I fucking lost it. I was about right, damn near ready to fucking kill him, but I didn't. I was two steps away from fucking chopping his head off, but I never did. I think it was just the fact, because uh, the simple fact is, is I had to have it a certain way. It had to be, you know, in my house, it had to be my way. You know, every everything, at that point in time, I had OCD really fucking bad. I did. Really bad. I chilled out on a little bit, but, you know, I still got it. But, yeah, I had OCD really bad at that point in time. No. I wasn't attracted to her. No. Yeah, she had hair. And that, and I think that's that's the reason why they all freaked out. Not to mention, I, anytime fucking I had spare money, I'd give it to her. But no. I was not attracted to her like that. It was just, it was just all about fucking, you know, spending time with my fucking niece because she fucking ended up replacing my other ones. Now I got... No nieces. Mm-hmm. That's variable. Actually, I had four. Um, my sister... <laughs> my sister couldn't follow through with the judge's orders, so... So the fucking state took them. Right away from her, and then I couldn't see them at all. Because of, because of who I am and who, what, at that point in time it was, 
I will had jail stuff going on. At that point in time, I I also had a fucking um uh not charges going on, which I I can understand, you know. But after so long, it, you should be able to. But yeah, they just straight up. And I, I think in all, all honesty, they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't be able to take, take nieces, nephews, you know, away from, from, you know, the, uh, actual, uh, how do you say that? guardians, whatever, you know, in all reality, the, the family type kind of deal. Yeah, I was. Yeah. But the only, I, the last time I, I, I saw my niece was on, was in, uh, Charles City, I was, well, Right after I got back from Mesa City, I ended up seeing my sister with her kids. That was the last time that I saw them. I had a very good relationship with my nieces. A really good relationship. Matter of fact, I, w I was the one that was there when my sister kept on going to bars and whatnot to go and find some some guy to screw. I was there for my nieces. My nieces would actually rather stay with me than my own sister. And especially, no, she was the second, because there was, so yeah, she was the second to the oldest, you know. Yeah, normal, a normal fucking, you know, 
getting their fucking dress. You know, mm-hmm. of course, at that point in time, it, it was more on on the lines of, you know, at that point in time, she didn't have to because she could get herself dressed at that point in time. But uh, as, you know, when she was a baby, I you, you used to do that. Yeah. So. But, yeah. No, just besides Clay, you know, when, when she was fucking, um, just besides when she was, she was a fucking baby, cleaned her up, and that was it. And then fucking put her fucking diaper on, and there, there you go. No, I, I don't believe in that shit. Pissing me off anybody that does that. Sometimes you can't. You just, you just gotta have the willpower to be able to change it. That's because some people are just weak in the mind. never really been one for weakness in my mind except for when I have fucking my anxiety fucking bringing in aneurysms so yeah I'm saying I lose fucking uh, when uh, my anxiety goes as in really bad, lose all fucking basically because of the oxygen. You need oxygen to the brain. Okay. Well, when when that happens, I get none. So it it, it damn near completely cuts it off. So it affects my my brain. As in, I can't fucking think. No, not my judgment. My judgment's never off. Yes. My brain knows the right thing. It's just, it's just fucking... No, 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 you're getting it wrong. You know what a really bad anxiety attack is? How about, okay, well, let's put it this way. When that happens, is I can't do it, I can barely move when it happens. The last time it, it happened, I felt like I was going to fucking die. I was walking out to the hospital when I felt like that. Them to fucking help me breathe. Yeah. Yeah, it was called. I ended up drinking Mountain Dew. Mhm. Because of all that fucking sugar, just rushes right right into my fucking heart. So yeah, and I've ever since then, yeah, I used to be a lot, a lot worse person. And what do I mean? 
I mean, I would actually fucking... Anybody that pissed me off, I, I would fucking hunt them. Including the law. No. It was just the fact of that was that was um that was the adopted mother's rules, I guess, because it was all through the state. First, yeah, sorry, all she got adopted to somebody else because she was older. But all the other three got adopted and considering they fucking changed their names and their everything. No. And now that was because because I know exactly why that was and that was because of my fucking drug use back then. I had really bad drug use back then. No. No. Nothing got said and got done like that. In all reality, yeah, it was, because fucking her dad let me around her. He did it. You know, we... I ended up fucking staying at his place, you know? Fucking... Well, yeah, granted, granted, when they, when they weren't there, I, I would... I ended up... When she wasn't home, I'd end up fucking, you know... Sleeping in her room, whatever, and that was just because fucking I ended up missing her, and whatever. You know, it's one of those types of things, you know, yeah, I, I was by myself. And I got fucking depressed, I, I was fucking emotional, I was fucking a wreck. But you know what? I got I got to hold myself. Not like that. It was just. It was it was my house, and I always ended up cleaning up her house. I mean, her bedroom afterwards. I always ended up cleaning up her bedroom, whatever you know. There for a while, I was I was fucking doing her goddamn laundry. Just because I fucking felt like it. When she was at school. I, after quite a few times, I took her, took her and went to school. Yes. He was older by a year. A year or two. Yeah, the, she was actually just. She was still in grade school at the point in time, but then a couple of years after that, then she was in high school because of the simple fact is when this all fucking happened, she was the age of. Um. Jamie. And, and that, that, see I get a kick out of that one sheriff. 
Because it ain't all reality, that is, you know, the sheriff straight up fucking li lied on the fucking witness, you know, when the fucking judge asked him if he was going to tell the truth, you know, and then my fucking attorney told, told me, oh, it's fine. The one with, um, no, no. My, 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 uh, burglary charge right now. That's what I'm talking about, but either way, you know, it, it seems like everybody fucking lies. Nobody wants to really tell the truth. On what? Well, see, that's just it. Is you got the sheriff? So, and, and in all reality. If you actually pull up the documents, that's where the truth is. No. Documents regarding her actual age. That. that um. Supposedly 16, and then I heard 18, and then the fucking sheriff said fucking 13. Of course, I know she's not 13. Because she has a fucking driver's license or was going to get it. And you can only be 16 to be able to get that. Hopefully. No, just besides the fact that they were my neighbors. No, this is the, this is the neighbors that I had recently. Camera. Yeah, right there at the fucking... friends with which was my niece so I got I got to know a little bit uh, and then and then there was fuck He was, he was, he was part of the family. He was, I think, just the boyfriend. I think. Of her mom. So, I never hung out with the girls. No, no, nothing happened like that. Just straight up said, nothing happened like that. Any of the girls. It was just the fact that I fucking, it was a fucking misunderstanding between fucking, because I thought they were fucking moved out. But I also had fucking 
they also needed a fucking um thing that was fucking jump the gun. They needed somebody to let them know that they that wasn't messing around. Cause they wanted to know all. So I went in there. I was gonna fucking pack up all their shit and fucking put it out for them. So exactly what I was gonna do. And then, and then of course they caught me in distress. That was, that was the issue. That was the issue. Yeah. And, and at the point in time, I fucking, uh, uh, talking to the fucking, um, I ended up talking to the fucking, and then, and yeah, at that point in time, they, they both said they really didn't want to fucking call the cops on me, because in all reality, it was stupid. But hey, it is what it is. I don't know. It, it's... Well, besides the fact that I got that type of money, and, and in all reality, right now, I'm trying to get back everything, everything that I gave away that I had. No, it, it's, it has nothing to do with feeling closer to the person. It, it's just... That was just a, um, how do you, how do you say it? I just ended up doing that. For one, I was curious on, on exactly what size she was. I was curious. No. No. I'm not upset right now. I was curious on you guys because I knew that your squad was going to be at that house tonight because they made it quite clear that they were going to be. And in all reality, they do a lot of shit stupid. They do. For one, if you're fucking coming up on a fucking house that you want to fucking surround, don't fucking make yourself fucking goddamn known. They made their guns hit me, and they made themselves fucking known. I heard them from fucking from the back room. Because in all reality, if, in, in all reality, and, and this is just if, you know, the one person could could have fucking, you know, not to mention with all the goddamn lights you could see in bright as day. So, you know, in all reality, you know, if I was fucking not a person, if I was a person that used guns, come on, you guys had a fucking gun right in that fucking house. So yeah, it was kind of stupid. I'm just not one that used guns, I used knives. I'd rather chop people's fucking heads off. But, I don't. Because I hold back. Yes, I do. The for defense. Not yet. Because they let me know. The last, last person I was gonna, um, 
Oh, there's that arm. Um, Alright. I was gonna fucking stab him with, was because fucking. He asked me if I wanted to ride home. I told him, yeah, sure. Next thing I know, he's fucking put, putting his fucking hand on my junk and fucking ask, asking me about fucking. Uh, uh, well, him sucking my dick or something like that. I told him no. I told him it wasn't worth his goddamn time. <laughs> and then he kept on fucking asking me. And at the point in time, at that point in time, if he didn't fucking let me out, I was gonna fucking grab my knife and fucking stab him. So he let me out. But nope, never told him I had a knife. He didn't even know I had a knife. Hell yeah. That was, that was, that was my main point. That was my main point today. It was a statement. It was a statement today. is exactly why I did it. All I'm going to say is that it's a statement. But, yeah. No. But there is, there is you know, in all reality, you know, you're lucky I, I, I ain't got a death wish, although sometimes I do. What do I mean by that? If I had a grudge against the fucking law. Especially with that gun in the house. And that's only if it was loaded. Which I don't even know. I just I felt the barrel. And that was it. I didn't bother fucking picking it up and looking once I saw that. I kind of figured, hey, it's kind of like a fucking setup. And I actually already knew it was from the get go, but hey. to test my theory. My theory was you guys were coming and I was right. Because in all reality a lot of times is is in all reality is I can profile people. I can profile people. I used to do it a lot. Yeah, I, I don't do it as much, but yeah. I I used to be able to profile people a lot. That's one one way. But there's also uh, also Knowing what they are, who they are, as in for the for the simple fact is if they if they were to do anything wrong, uh, for the simple fact is is you know pay attention to every little freaking detail. Yes, I do. Uh, it was just besides what it read. But, as of tonight, 
as of tonight. The, there's just something about tonight that just puts it off as basically at least. Oh, haven't you saw Jamie's house? Haven't you saw Jamie's house? Well, yeah, I, I did. Yep. Many people. Because I wanted, to, I wanted to actually see this, the crime scene. What well, was my whole intent? Because in the end, I was going to go hunt for. Because in the end, if you guys couldn't catch her, I was going to go out there and I was going to do it my way. No. I don't. But. I know I would have better luck. Not just that. I got people. I got people all over. Uh, besides the fact that if I did find her, they were going to be for her if I did find her, and then I was going to fucking bring her back. Well, any teenager gone fucking missing would need clothes. I plan on fucking opening a fucking homeless shelter. So, yeah. No. I was thinking on her, not on me. But see, you know, you don't give a flying fuck what the, what the fuck I say. I, I know you don't, because I can tell. Yeah, but, but once I mentioned, mentioned what I was actually going to do with the clothes, how you reacted. That told told me, yeah, yeah. Because, because in all reality, I wasn't gonna wear them. I was I was actually gonna fucking plan on going to fucking hunt for, like I fucking told the fucking sheriff's department. No. Mm -hmm. So. Why do I got to see ya. First thing I get, get a hold of a few people. I got people all over. I can get a hold of quite a few people. Quite a few people. And and not to mention I'm already I'm already starting because because in all reality I'm uh, I'm I'm actually fucking starting to fucking you know uh put it out to fucking teenagers right now. So they are aware. So in case they ever f see her, I'm putting it out everywhere, including the fucking CDL drivers, because hey, that's one way that it could have happened. I never saw her. And I don't know if 
this fucking Jim Claus is the same one as fucking years ago. But, anyways, because I used to know some Jim Claus that at least my uncle did. So, I don't know if it's the same one or not. But, uh, I may have, but I, I'm not sure. I've been around, around Barron quite a bit. I used to live in Barron. Just blonde hair. Yeah, it, it, it's not about seeing the blonde hair. It, it, fuck, I could give a shit less if she had fucking blonde hair or not. It's still fucking go out there. Just for the simple goddamn fact that she's goddamn messy. And for the simple fact is, especially after the fucking FBI. Couldn't de do the goddamn job years ago. So yeah. Because the FBI, FBI was involved in that one, too. I couldn't do the goddamn job on that one, either. Really all I could do is suspect, fucking investigate people that didn't, weren't even fucking, didn't even have anything to goddamn do with it. No. No. Cuts knew it was me. Charles City PD knows me. If you ask me, if the Charles City PD asked me to do something, normally I'd do it. Yeah, granted, pisses me off a lot of times. I, I'm more of a type of revenge. I'd rather get revenge. I'd rather like people to not know when it's coming. If I were to do anything. See, I knew you guys were going to be there tonight. And that is the main reason why I was there. Because I wanted to get me corn. It wasn't just the police. Got the FBI for Christ's sake. Yeah, I did. I wanted to see what every everyone had to say. And plus, a lot of times that's the only way. The only the only way I can. You know, I wanted to see exactly, exactly who was fucking, um, looking for her. Why? Because it's a fucking missing teenage girl. Why is that goddamn important to me? For one, child molesters. All the fucking child molesters need to goddamn die. Because of my goddamn nieces. Because I was do anything fucking possible I could to fucking make sure they are goddamn fucking sick. Cause obviously you can't goddamn count on the fucking FBI. You can't fucking count on the fucking 
Please have some goddamn time. So yeah. In all reality, I can go places where fucking police can't. Telling you that. It's not about where I would have taken her because I want to. I want her fucking back with her goddamn fucking family. I am out to fucking protect people. Granted, granted, I ain't got my fucked up shit that I do, but I am, I am also out there fucking trying to fucking protect people all at the same goddamn time, and yeah, I'm trying to fucking get my ass out, out of the fucking bullshit. But I am fucking out there trying to fucking protect people all at the same goddamn time when the fucking police can't. Or they fucking get hurt fucking and the fucking police can't do nothing before before they fucking get there. And they're already beat past the fucking death. You know, yes, I do. Not only young girls. Girls, period. That is one of the goddamn reasons I, I normally fucking go out there fucking dressing like I do was part, partly Besides, besides the fact that I, I, I wouldn't, I'd rather fucking cut my balls off. Let's just put it this way. I'd rather be a girl. Then I pick and then a fucking guy. Cause in all reality, a lot of times fucking males don't know how to fucking treat women. Oh, that is not why, cause that is me. Women's clothes. Cause in all reality, at some goddamn point, I plan on getting a fucking goddamn operation. And then I am gonna go out there and protect all the goddamn fucking transgenders that are fucking dying too. That are fucking getting killed. Because it's all about a fucking goddamn hate crime. And yeah, this whole fucking goddamn town actually in all reality hates it. Because I wear women's clothes, because of the simple fact is, yeah, in all reality, I got on in ways that I shouldn't have, yes. But at the point in time, I didn't have the goddamn fucking money. If I had the money, I would have fucking gladly fucking paid for it.
Yeah, I did. But that really wasn't to take her clothes, because in all reality, you guys actually caught me in the middle, and just so happened I walked out with them. So, you know, my plans for those clothes, because in all reality, if you guys can't ever fucking ever find Jamie, somebody else is gonna need him. Some other kid is gonna need him. Homeless, whatever. Somebody else is eventually gonna need him. If, uh, especially if you guys can't fucking find Jamie. Because eventually, yeah, I was, I was a good fucking, I got, I got this goddamn plan of fucking starting up a fucking homeless shelter. To take in the goddamn homeless, to fucking, as a matter of fact, I plan on fucking going, eventually, going down to fucking Florida to try and fucking help them down, down there. Because I got fucking people down there. We got people in fucking Missouri, you name it. Texas, I got people all over. fucking feelings are you goddamn talking about? Because you're, you're fucking starting to fucking sound like fucking I'm a fucking child molester. Fuck no. No. I control that. Yes. I can shut off any goddamn fucking feeling I want at any point in time. Yes, I can. Because in all reality, they aren't that fucking gorgeous. There's always some type of, of thing that just, yeah, they're attractive, but you know what, you know, I, I would rather fucking be wearing fucking clothes, for the simple fact is, I'm more fucking happier in girls clothes than I am fucking Wearing fucking guys clothes. No. I don't touch the fucking girls just just because I can't fucking respect for them. fucking girl I have touched which was fucking that has been the only one that I fucking touched and I fucking had sex with her that is the only one oh uh, there was also fucking two but it really didn't matter because 
She just gave up. But yeah, in all reality, girls can't satisfy me. And that is for the simple fact is, is I have more, had more fucking, more of a relationship with fucking guys, males, because one, I, I, I in all reality, It's just that I never fucking told anybody. Because in, in all reality, I did what I had to do to make it by as a kid. So yeah, I got money, you name it. Got smokes, got whatever I wanted. You know, and then there, you know, I, I was starting to fucking make 500, 500 fucking bucks because I fucking, I, I, I fucking finally, I said, fuck this. So I fucking told him I, I, I fucking had him fucking, You know, you know the worst, worst thing about it is, is that guy, so, so try and fucking, you know, something really small, you know, took about a week, so yeah. I was in pain when that fucking happened, but hey, it is what it is. So now I just fucking shut off all. I try and fucking shut off all fucking feelings. Cause in all reality, there are times when I'm actually fucking attracted to guys instead of fucking women. It's just, it's just the first simple fact is a lot of guys can't fucking satisfy me because a lot of time because so in all reality when I was a kid yeah I, I've always I've always had this thing towards men yeah even when I was fucking a kid. I did. And I'll admit it. But see see the one thing is is, is I the the guy I got I, I just can't see that. And that is partly why why I was fucking why I want to get the fucking operation done is for one you know then that way there there's not that whole judgmental fucking thing about fucking gays you know because back, back then back then fucking you know KKK they fucking they would go after fucking you know gays you name it you know, prejudice, hate crimes. Yeah, granted, granted, it, it's not the greatest thing in the world to fucking see two men together. It's a, it's a lot better to see fucking two women together than it is fucking two men.
because of my niece. No, I was there enough for work. It was just about some bullshit about her dad. It wasn't that he really, well, I'll put it this way. It was because it was it was it was because of the simple fact that at the point in time, I fucking had this whole fucking thing about getting back at me because I went to ask ask my sister about him, and then my sister told me that he had a fucking um case. Down, down in Iowa, but he was never founded on it for a fucking, for, I guess, touching, but he was never actually founded on it. So they closed it, is when I, when I finally got, I got the real answer out of everybody, but my, my sister knew I was going to fucking fly off the handle. And it took me almost a goddamn year to come down from that. Yes. I was. It was I think it was be because of the simple fact. In all reality, it was just looking out for because of safety. Because of the simple fact is is. There were times when I flew off the handle and supposedly I get I scared is what it, what it was. Besides otherwise than that we we, we fucking play it play fucking you know, I didn't go seek you name it. it was it was all fucking normal fucking uh, you know, family shit. Because at one point in time I was fucking, um, I was really pissed. And I didn't lose it, but you know, I was really pissed. No, I wasn't angry at her, I was, it was with her dad. to mention I didn't want to really want to want her fucking dad at my house but I did it because of my fucking goddamn sister. Yeah, cuz I it, that's that's not the only only reason. It's because, you know, at that point in time I had knives all around my house. I had... I had an axe. No. I had the axe right close to my door. I had one there, and then, and then of course, I, I had the other one in the closet. Just because of the fact that I, I came home and flipped out. I was on, I was in the rampage that that night. No, no, I never fucking tried at home, but yeah, I all I did was come home. It, it, see, the thing is, is I can have this fucking look that fucking scares people. restraining order. Just it was just something about something, but it never came across as a fucking restraining order. It was just a, 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 a matter of fact. I even came showed up and at court with 
to be honest, I for for that court. It was it was I don't know exactly because because the simple fact is 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 my family too has a they had a tendency of lying. They did. Exactly if if that if that was actually right. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if it actually happened, but yeah. I But yeah, at one point in time I, I fucking my my assistant ended up call calling me and told me not not to let her fucking not to let take the kids, but I can't do that because the simple fact is they are his kids. He was drunk. And she didn't want this child in danger. And not to mention she was gonna try to try and get custody of him, but it was never gonna work. The restroom. Because the simple fact is is I wanted to fucking see if my theory was right. That was my main reason. I originally didn't. It just so happened that I would. That I would. That's what I did when I was there. Because in all reality, I might have fucking left him when, when I fucking left. When I actually left. But considering your fucking cops. put them on because I didn't have to put them on. I had my own goddamn clothes. So no. That's not me. So, no. All it was was originally was I was gonna fucking hunt for Jamie. And then I was also gonna fucking actually, you know, give get them to some needy kid that actually need need the clothes at the point in time. Because in the simple fact is, is I go down to fucking Eau Claire quite a bit, and there are fucking homeless people around all all over. That wasn't my original fucking intent. That just so happened to be what I was doing. My original fucking intent was was to see if my fucking theory was right, and it was. Yeah. And I was right. It was a straight setup. And I knew it was from the get-go. But, I still went along with it. Because I had, I had to go all the way through it. And because I was, I was, my original intent was looking at the crime scene. To try and get, get to know that family a little bit better. That way I could actually try and figure out exactly how she would react and if she was capable so yeah well like you guys said 
like you guys supposedly investigated. Supposedly. But you can't believe everything you read. For the simple fact is, it's capable of possibly you'll have some fucking Facebook friend. I don't know, fucking you know, killer barracks. But you know, you guys already fucking already ruled that one out. Supposedly. Oh, I know, I know. From the picture, I never saw her. And I just put my hand on the barrel. That was it. Okay. No, because my 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 DNA DNA is not going to be in that crap scene. I know it's not going to be there. Yes, it's not going to be there. As in what? No, I just watch how I pay attention to, to what I touch and everything. Had shoes completely on, you know. Um, the only thing is, it is technically I there's one way, and that is hair, and that's only a fucking hair fall falls. But that is the only way you would get my DNA. Otherwise, otherwise than that, you won't get it. Yeah, you can. Yes, I do. Do you have a number? 